the shock of the hour. See, brothers and sisters, you are not going to straighten up on any word from me. Just the better ones of you. Uh -uh. You're not going to hear no warning. No. Bush is not going to straighten up. Dung Tao Ping is not going to straighten up. The world leaders are bent on their cause. They don't straighten up with no preaching. The shock of the hour has to be so powerful that it casts terror into the heart. Make you drop to your knees like the oxen that is being laid under burden. Force you to pray to whatever God you think you know, make you call him. <laughs> and among men is he who disputes about Allah without knowledge. See, that's the whole problem. Whole problem is we're disputing over who God is, what God is. So God has to make you know who he is by making such a shock in the hour that you know whoever produced the shock has to be the God. Stop you in your rebellion. Stop you in your wild career. Stop you in your foolishness. Stop you in your filth and indecency and debauchery. Stop you in your drug addiction and your AIDS addiction. Stop you in your wildness. The shock gets so great you can't function. It's like that earthquake that hit California the other day. People getting ready for a festival. But when the earth starts shaking, you can't think about festival. The musician can't crank up his music. The dancers can't dance. The marchers can't march. The whores can't haul. The pimps can't pimp. The hustlers can't hustle. The dope dealers can't deal no dope. to deal effectively with the hour. That's what an earthquake will do. It humbles you right away. Immediately you say, oh God. And by whatever name you call him, you, you learn it real quick. But whoever you're calling on, you're calling on that power that is behind that that you know you didn't start nor can you end. And among men is he who disputes about Allah without knowledge and follows every rebellious devil. For him it is written down that whoever takes him for a friend, he will lead him astray and conduct him to the chastisement of the burning fire. Oh, people, coming back to you again, and me, and us, if you are in doubt about the resurrection, then surely we created you from dust, then from a small life germ, then from a clot, then from a lump of flesh, complete in make and incomplete, that we may make clear to you and we cause what we please to remain in the womb till an appointed time. God is talking. You ain't got nothing to do with this mother. You want the baby, but Allah says, we cause 
to remain in your wombs what we please till an appointed time. And if it doesn't please us, we abort your pregnancy. And you can't do nothing about it. He says, we bring you forth as babies then that you may attain your maturity and of you is he who is caused to die and of you is he who is brought back to the worst part of life so that after knowledge he knows nothing some of you attain maturity as you are mature people in front of me then you die in your maturity but some of you will get old and after knowing you will act as though you know nothing you become senile then he makes a strange comparison he says you see the earth barren and we send down water thereon it stirs and swells and brings forth a bountiful growth of every kind. That is because Allah, He is the truth. What do you mean Allah, He is the truth? Why can't you just say Allah is the truth? Why did you have to make and a positive here you say Allah then you have a comma and you want to drive your point home he is the truth he gives life to the dead and check this out he is possessor of power over all things and the hour is coming there is no doubt about it and Allah will raise up those who are in the grave I know what you're thinking I know what you're thinking you're thinking all these cemeteries are going to just open up and people going to get no brother no no sister no no well I thought I was gonna see my mama again no no sweetheart no 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 the grave here is something different the shock of the hour is for people who are living the dead can't feel the shock. The pregnant woman that's going to lay down her burden, there's no pregnant woman in the grave that's going to throw the baby up out of six feet. There's nobody dead going to be moving like they're drunk because they are still and frozen in death. So it's not talking about the dead in those kind of graves. The hour is coming. There is no doubt about it. And Allah will raise up those who are in their graves. And among men is he who disputes about Allah without knowledge. It comes right back to that theme. And without guidance. And without an illuminating book. Turning away haughtily to lead men astray from the way of Allah. For him is disgrace in this world. And on the day of resurrection, we shall make him taste the punishment of burning. This is for that which thy two hands have sent before. And Allah is not in the least unjust to his servants.